Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of whatever this is. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, rebuilding the Pelagius Wing. Now, this is an idea that I've had for quite a while, but um, I I've never really, I haven't really shown it to you. I thought about making it a series um, way back when I started this channel, but I quite didn't get the chance to. So, anyway, we're going to start off by just clearing up some debris and um, one of the main helpers I have here is Jackson's Positioner. Now you absolutely must have that mod if you want to do any sort of decorating in this game. Um, and I'll show you a little bit first. Um, the purpose of going around and picking up everything is so that uh, uh, things will be cleaner. You can't really do a whole lot of decorating when there's a bunch of junk in the way. And after this, we'll be doing a lot of cobweb cleaning. Sorry if there's... <laughs> I was just laughing at this dog here. <laughs> it just... I laughed for a full minute. That dog, he just got stuck on the stairs. I don't know how that happened. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry if you heard a little bit of noise early on, or if you're still hearing some background noise. I try to minimize that if I can. But yeah, sometimes it's difficult if you live in a house with other people at all. But I wanted to record today, so that's that's what you've got to put up with. So you see I'm just going around and just picking up as much as I possibly can. I am I apologize if you can't really see what's in the crates and stuff. I, I have this going a lot slower than I normally do for time lapses. J just because I thought, you know, the way this game goes, it might make you really motion sick. So that's not all that very pleasant to just be sitting there and then, like, halfway through, you have to puke. Like I said, lots of picking up things like books and little doodads just so uh, we have a relatively clear canvas. And as you probably noticed a few seconds ago or, like, a minute ago... I've got a largely, a very, very enhanced inventory, so like 10,000 inventory points. It's useful, it's useful for certain situations or most situations, otherwise you've got to find some kind of, I don't know, some kind of chest or something and just dump it in there. Uh, you could dump things into one of these barrels, which would definitely help. Uh, the Jackson's mod, the Jackson's um, positioner mod, which has a very useful feature where if you press the delete key when you're, when you have something selected, then you can, um, well, delete the object. So it's very easy. You don't have to type in disable because disable was the one I was looking for. It's also nicer. Uh, you, you don't have to keep typing in the same thing or, I mean, I guess it's about the same number of key presses because you can press the up arrow key and um, get get a command that you already entered. But yeah, th this is a lot easier, I find. And I find that I make fewer mistakes because uh, also with the Jackson's Positioner, one thing that you can do to make sure you have the right object grabbed is that you can uh, press the arrow keys once again with the object selected and move it about around a little bit. Uh, you might notice me wiggling objects from time to time after I select them. Uh, that was just me making sure that what I had really was what I wanted to select. Um, because things that are really finicky, like cobwebs, tend not to light up. It's surprisingly uh, brain intensive. Gosh, is that a word? <laughs> Making up words. But is it surprisingly intensive to think about how you have to move things and stuff like that when you wouldn't think it would be? Because you, you want to be very careful. You don't want to delete something that, you know, that you don't need to delete. You've got to be careful. You don't want to... Yeah, like, you don't want to delete the ceiling, because then you can't get it back. And if you haven't saved for a while, that's a pain. It, it's a total pain. It's very, very difficult. 
So obviously, in order to be able to access the Pelagius Wing, you've got to be able to, you know, go in there. So you've got to complete the Mind of Madness quest. As for what I'm going to do with these spaces once I'm finished, I'm not quite sure yet. I, I don't know what what's in store. Anyway, um, gosh, what, what else do I talk about? I feel like I go on and on, don't I? But that's okay. It's okay to have moments where you're not talking. <gasps> oh, take a breath. I have to remind myself that sometimes. Uh, just, just, it's like with, and I know I brought this up totally a lot, and I've probably said this before, but it's kind of like with acting. Um, not that that's, maybe that's not the super common uh, point of reference, but I, our acting coach in that class, you know, he would always say, you don't always have to be doing something. Actors always want to do something. Don't always have to. Uh, <laughs> so that's kind of important. You don't always have to be saying something. You can have a few seconds of rest. Uh, and here I'm just trying to move this barrel. Move it around. Rotate it. Get it in the right position. Yeah. So where do I want to put it? I don't know. So maybe you guys are wondering where I've been. Maybe I can't, I kind of doubt it, but <laughs> maybe some of you are. Where have you been for the past I don't know how many months? 2 months. Uh, I've been just taking a break, I guess. I ask, like I don't know what I was doing. Um, I guess I'll say that with the holidays, there's always a ton of things that you need to do. There's always just a bunch of stuff. And so I didn't... I, I, I was trying to spend some of my time devoted to making presents. I always make presents for uh, my family. I, I like to knit blankets, and that takes a lot of work. So even, even with super bulky yarn, it takes a while. So I was doing that along with... Um, what else? I went off on this writing kick about mid-October, and then I just stopped this for some reason. And that's about it. That's about all that I've done. Um, I've been learning some things. I've been thinking about doing, let me put that down this keyboard. That's probably really annoying hearing me bump up against it. Gosh, that probably is totally getting on your nerves. So what I've been thinking about lately, and I don't know if, I don't know if any of you guys would like this or not, because it's kind of a departure from the two things I normally do, <laughs> The Sims and uh, Skyrim, but I was thinking about playing an adventure game, and I don't know what you guys think about that. So, it's kind of late in this video to be asking, but uh, there was this one game in particular that I was thinking about, I, I think it's, I think it would be a lot of fun to kind of uh, to show it to you guys. And besides that, I feel like I'm way more knowledgeable about it than when I first played it like three years ago. So it's not an RPG. I probably already said that. It's an adventure game. Uh, 
a classic point-and-click adventure game. Oh, might, might have keyboard stuff. I don't know. But, um, that's all I'm going to say about it. That's all I'm going to say about it. And, um, yeah, gosh, how much more stuff, how much more stuff is in this stuff? So we've got another five minutes together. It's difficult. Um, I always feel like you've got to be talking in some of these. Then why don't you just shut up? I don't know. It feels wrong. <laughs> feels like I'm slacking. Thankfully, um, even, even though I'm saying like a ton of ums and ahs and stuff, I, I've, I seem to be a bit clearer than I was in the past. I don't, I don't know why that is, but I'm very grateful for it. There's, I'm able to articulate somewhat better. <laughs> so, so maybe I needed a different time. I, I don't know. Sometimes you've got to do a few different things to figure out what you need to do. Thank you, Captain Platitude. Uh, call myself Captain Platitude. So, I hope you guys so far have had a very wonderful 2018. So far. There's a lot of... A, a lot of uh, stuff that I'm looking forward to personally. Though I'm not quite sure. Um... Sure. I'm not quite sure what they are, but I'm looking forward to them. <laughs> oh my goodness, that that has got to be <laughs> the dumbest thing I've said. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I take that back about what I said about getting very, being better at articulating stuff. I take that back. Totally take that back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. Anyway, I'm just adding a few chandeliers here and there. Uh, and this is pretty close to the end. How can I expect other people to be interested if I'm sitting here looking at the time? What's, what's my problem? Uh, this mod that we're looking at right here, this is called... Gosh, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but it, it, it makes all the mod packs into a kind of container that you can look through. It's ad item something. Add item menu, I think is what it's called. Add item menu. So it's, it's incredibly useful, as you can see, if you're a dirty, rotten cheater, like I am. But it's also useful in decorating, which you kind of need to... Sometimes you need to have a little bit of thought when you're decorating. It's like the old ka-ching cheat in The Sims. That's kind of what it is, but for Skyrim. And here I'm just trying to see, do I have a light candle spell? Because it's kind of tough to tell whether or not these fixtures are adding anything to the light, so... And that's kind of a problem. In here, as you can see, there's a lot of darkness, and I'm trying to get rid of it with Mage Light, which I cast, like, a bajillion times. I had it on 
I have this another wonderful mod called Lights Please, and it's by Jackson's. Again, he has a whole suite of utility mods. Some I like, some I, you know, I'm not so sure about. But I, I definitely love the positioner, and I love um, the Lights Please, because you can just hit... Uh, with the square bracket keys, you know, the ones next to the letter P on your keyboard, you hit one of those and, and you get a light. As long as you know the spell, that is. Mopping up a few of these final cobwebs. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> there's more than a few. There's a whole other room left. Actually, two rooms. There's the first room that you come in, first come in, and then there's another one. So there's a little bit more to do, but I think that this amount of stuff was good for an, an inaugural episode. See, I can't- should I even use words that I can't pronounce? Okay guys, thank you so much for sticking with me uh, through this, this, whatever this is, and I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Hopefully. And take care. Bye.